Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. For this week's project, let's turn this mesquite hollow form vase. It's from a half log of fairly fresh mesquite, thank you Mark, uh, from Arizona. And uh, I turned it rough and hollowed it only a little bit rough. I regret that decision. I wish I'd done more when it was green. It was mighty tough when it was dry. It uh, has some characteristic mesquite cracking despite all my efforts but it's still a very nice mesquite little hollow form vase. So let's turn it. As I prepare to mount this log, I note a couple of end grain cracks. Mesquite is such a tight wood, but prone to cracks. I decide to proceed anyway to see what I can get out of it. The log is too short for a bowl, so it is telling me to turn a vase. I will remove the pith to prevent additional cracks and hope for the best. Now it is mounted between a four-pronged drive center and a live center. This mesquite is tough wood. It takes a while with my bowl gouge to whittle it down to something that resembles a vase. As I start to get through the sapwood, it is starting to look good. But it is time to cut a tenon so I can mount it more securely. My skew is great to tune a tenon. With the wood now secure with a tenon mount, I can get serious about shaping this vase. The wood is still tough, even as mostly green wood. For hollowing purposes, I need a tenon on the top side also. Those cracks are still there, but are not getting bigger. The wood is tough, so I will start hollowing by drilling with a 2-inch Forstner bit. Even then, it is tough going. While I am at it, I also drilled from the opposite end, then sealed it and put it away to dry. I let it dry just over a year. It lost only 12% by weight to moisture loss. Mesquite is a dry wood and I do not know how long after it was harvested that I got it and roughed it. With it dry, I need to retune the tenons. But since both ends have been drilled out, I do not have a good place to mount the wood. However, I found a couple of face plates that with just a little tuning will hold the wood long enough to retrue the tenons. Even with the wood being even harder now, my skew is still my preferred tool for tenons. The straight part of the skew is also a good guide to ensure the base of the tenon is straight. My steady rest works best with a flat portion to ride on. I cut a flat to true the perimeter and provide a base for the steady wheels. I've rigged up my deep hollowing rig to finish hollowing the wood. I'll show just a little since there is not much to capture on video. I have adapted a USB boroscope camera to sight straight down on the cutting edge. 
The camera is plugged into my demonstration computer and shows on a screen above my lathe. I have covered the screen with a clear transparency. If you look closely and see a red line on the right side, that represents the cutting tip. As the tip moves, the camera moves and it appears that the line moves. The tip of the line should be the cutting tip so I can see where I am cutting and not risk breaking through to the outside. If any electronic expert wants a challenge, please figure out how, with my camera and screen, that I can capture that red mark overlaying the screen. The camera is USB, the software is vMix. I could capture the vMix image, but it would not include the marker overlay. Go for it. With the hollowing complete, I cut a taper on the bottom mortise. A taper will be more secure for the plug than a straight surface that may have gaps. Then glue and let it dry. Finally, for the final shaping for this very hard wood. Then sand it all up through the grits before parting off the plug. I sanded the bottom with a small sanding disc. Finally, a bath inside and out with walnut oil brings out that beautiful grain. Those cracks are still there, but they have held together and have not sent things flying across the shop. With wet wood, I can turn some nice large projects. This mesquite was not much softer than dry, but it was a little softer. In the end, green wood takes patience, but is well worth the wait. The vase is beautiful. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video and add it to my website. Please wear your full face shield for safety anytime the lathe is running. I will see you next week with another wood turning video. Be wise in these COVID times, get your shot, and count your blessings.